Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the invitation and the opportunity to speak to you today. Allow me to briefly introduce myself. My name is Johannes Remmele. I am the managing partner of Südpark, based in Ochsenhausen. This is in Schwabien in Germany. We are a classic medium-sized family business in its second generation, a typical hidden champion with more than 1,400 employees in an annual turnover of more than 400 million euros. We have a total of 18 sales offices and locations with production facilities in Germany, France, Poland, the United States and Switzerland. Our portfolio is highly differentiated. We offer packaging solutions for food products as well as sterile goods packaging for the medical industry. And what we are particularly proud of, we are not only one of the market leaders, but also a technology leader in our market segment. Accordingly, we invest heavily in research and development every year, partly to improve sustainability of our production methods and products. Our main area of expertise is film packaging for fatty and protein-rich foods, such as meat, sausage, cheese, and fish products. These are all high-quality composite films that are specially designed for their specific contents and use guarantee optimal protection, freshness, and hygiene. Their chief disadvantage is major majority of our products are multi-layer films and therefore not mechanically recyclable but can only be thermal recycling. In this respect, the current debate in, on plastics and plastic packaging concerns us quite directly. Those who follow this debate could easily get the impression that our film packaging represents exact opposite of sustainability and responsible behavior. Like our entire industry, we are under enormous pressure to justify what we do and produce. It's not always fair and it's not objective, nevertheless, I would like to stress at this point that the current debate is both legitimate and necessary. Plastic in the form of plastic waste, that is importantly disposed of is a massive treat to the environment. This has to stop and we as an industry are called up on to help solve this problem. Keep in mind plastic packaging for food has always been one thing, the solution to essential problems in our modern life and not their cause. Our films, for example, meet essential requirements in the food trade, such as product protection, freshness, hygiene, and quality. They guarantee that consumers always receive safe and clean food. They prolong the shelf life of food and prevent, prevent spoilage. As a result, they are already making a key contribution to the conservation of resources, the environment, and climate protection, because spoiled and wasted food is a major environment problem. So despite their weakness in terms of recyclability, or plastic films are actually highly sustainable packaging. Recycling remains the greatest challenge for plastic packaging. So far, recycling plastics has always meant downcycling. They recycled Raw material is of inferior quality to the original material. This puts limitations on this reuse of plastics in the form of recycles and regranulates. Incidentally, that is one positive aspect of the current debate. It has made it abundantly clear that we need reliably fun functioning closed material cycles so that no more plastic gets into the environment. And that what we need new processes and technologies to recycle plastic better and more efficiently. Here our industry in particular has to rise 
to this challenge. And that brings me to the chemical recycling and why we, had, we at Sweet Park didn't hesitate to work as partners with BASF on this great concept. Great because it is exactly the kind of innovation we will need in the future if we want to make plastics an even more sustainable raw material. Chemcycling will, will allow us to recycle significantly larger quantities of plastic in the future without downcycling. We can recover the raw material from which plastic is made and not simply produce recycla recyclates with limited uses. <clears throat> this packaging is an example. This is the right side, the mozzarella packaging. This packaging is an example of what chemcycling can actually do. A bag for mozzarella cheese made from a composite film of polyamide and polyethylene. This is by far the most sustainable and best packaging for this type of product. Much more resource friendly than a cup. Safe, hygienic, easy to dis dispose of. The only disadvantage is that until now, this bag could only be thermally recycled. Chemcycling can fundamentally change this in the future. This bag was part of BASF's pilot project and is made entirely from recycled material. This is a giant step. Chemcycling now makes it possible to completely recycle what was once non-recyclable plastic waste, for example, in the form of mixed, contaminated multilayer packagings. So it holds the potential to solve a major part of our waste problems, provided we employ truly closed material cycles. In our view, the results of the pilot phase are extremely promising and we give us cause of optimism. Now, of course, it is time to gather more experience and sex successively test and anchor chem cycling in practice. As we all know, an innovation is only a true innovation if it is actually put into practice. And in this case, that would be highly desirable. It almost goes without saying that we at Südpark are happy to accompany this process as a partner. It's another building block, another solution that helps us to improve the sustainability of our products without having to do without important material such as polyamide and thus makes sacri sacrifices in terms of product protect, uh, protection and safety. Let me make it quite clear that from our point of view, Südpark will never compromise on the latter. We will not accept any cutbacks in protection and safety of food, neither in the interests of, of consumers nor in the interest of protecting the environment and resources. And let me also say that even such forward-looking technologies as chemcycling will not change the fact that sustainability is a complex matter. It will remain complex and there will be no simple answers in the future either. What there will be, however, are innovations that provide at least partial answers and help us to move forward. It is therefore crucial that as many of us as possible work together. The best ideas often come from collaboration, from bringing together different perspectives and approaches. Thank you very much for this presentation and I hope we are on the right way. Thank you. BASF. We create chemistry.